Hey family and friends, thanks for tuning in. We just finished out week six in our sixth state, which was Oregon, where we spent our time at Crater Lake, Mount Hood, we went to the Capitol in Salem, and we ended it at Cannon Beach, which was awesome. So just keep watching so you can see uh, what we did, a little bit of video, a little bit of talking, a little bit inside of our life. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's ready. She says I was born to fly. Today is Thursday, um, Thursday, July 26th, uh, 2018, and we are in, is it Gresham or Gresham? I don't even know where we are. We're in Oregon. <laughs> we started off Oregon in Crater Lake. Uh, Crater Lake was super smoky. We drove, fires. Yeah, we drove all the way up there and you could barely see the lake from the rim. Which was sad because there's so much splendor and you couldn't see it. And Bella has been wanting to see Crater Lake for a long time. So this is one of the places she was most looking forward to. So I felt it was sort of a bummer that she wasn't able to experience that part of it. But then we went over to Cleetwood. Oh yeah. Cleetwood Trail. Uh, but we walked down this pretty steep trail. Mm-hmm. To the water, and then there was a 25 foot rock that you could jump it's off a cliff. of. It was a rock. It was a um, cliff. Okay, cliff sounds like hundreds of feet. It was 25 feet high, <laughs> and it was a rock that people could jump off and, and then swim because you can swim down there. Charlie and Bella jumped off the rock several times. We got it on video. Um, Scout tried his hardest to do it. He just couldn't bring himself to do it, but that's okay, right? Because who else didn't do it? You. Know? Me. I didn't do it either. Um, I didn't have a problem with the height, but I, d I don't do cold water, yeah, water and it was, was ice cold. cold. Yep. All I could think of was Titanic and dying. But along the way, Scout and, and Bella, Bella did their uh, Junior Ranger uh, booklet. Yay! Oh, he's got his badges. So he's gotten the Junior Ranger at Redwood. He was sworn in by a Ranger. And then here, he had Ranger Mike. And Ranger Mike got Bella. And there they are. <laughs> right there, Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Look at that. That's like my Crater Lake one. Okay. So he's getting badges left and right, police badges, ranger badges. So that was cool. That was cool. Mm -hmm. uh, got up the next morning pretty early. We left by 8.30. Left by 8.30 and headed. And we were going because this is going to be a five hour drive. What does that mean? It was eight. Oh. Because yeah. our oh, tire yeah. popped. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm cranky by the way. I let him, so I did, I had to seriously let him know last night, which I get, we always have to just try to look at the positive of things. Yes, it's frustrating and irritating that your tire blew, you know, but we had- And took out the entire left side of our RV. It's frustrating, it's not fun. We shouldn't have- smashed the sewer handle so our sewer is like wide open now. We shouldn't have the damages and we shouldn't have that, but I let him know that a couple weeks ago, the ending of one of my days resulted in an animal that died. So anything short of that is okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we called Good Sam. Perspective. Roadside assistance. Okay. And they were out within two hours, which 
while you're sitting there it seems like forever, but when you think about it, it wasn't a bad deal, so. I mean, it was, no, I'm just saying, because it wasn't bad, but it was hot, and so we sat on the side of the highway. Yeah, we got our camping <laughs> chairs out. We got our camping chairs out. Bella wrote, Scout did his latch hook. I did postcards. He sort of just rested. I had, the animals were out. Ole got to sit stewed. out. He stewed, but see, I just, I have to let him know. He's always the one who's always like, boo, 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 look at the bright side of things. So, and then I have to do that for him sometimes when he doesn't funny. like it. So the tow truck comes and he's, he's got, I'm thinking he's going to have to jack up the tire, like which the is, wheel, which is how you change the tire and anything else. Which is why we couldn't do it because yeah. we didn't have the jack. So he brings out these two four, four by, by fours, fours. <laughs> and had a, like a bevel cut on them. And he said, like, back up onto this. <laughs> Well, first of all, I was like, are you sure it's not going to tip over? Because we're already on a slant. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, not even close. So I drive up on this thing, gets the one wheel off the ground, and he switches it out in like 10 minutes. It was fine. We got to Salem. Salem's a nice city. It Salem, nice. Oregon. So thumbs up and kudos to you guys. They have a weird a nice capital city. building. It's got a lumberjack on the top. Like, I think every other capital we went to so far they had don't. a dome. You know, Colorado have gold on it, and some of the other ones have whatever. But this is like this big marble round building that's flat on the top, and it's got a. <laughs> but he represents uh, what the pine. Yeah, the, the Oregon pine, pioneer. The Oregon pioneer. But so. it's yeah, this huge statue. Twenty-two foot. Yeah. yeah. Brawny. No, we made that up. No, I thought you were reading it. And I no. said like the brawn paper towel. Yeah, but oh, you anyway. made that up. <laughs> Not the brawny part. It was anyway. It was twenty-two. Jacket. Twenty-two. Feet. It was erected in like 1937 or something. Oh, they had a natural grocer's. We took a picture in front of it because that to me, it was what did I say, a sight for sore eyes. Yeah, yeah vitamin cottage. Um, so it's just so familiar. We get our kombucha and the milk that we like, although they didn't have that. Our truffles, bulk, so we can get them making some snack mix. Snack mix. So these are important things. But. Um, So, I don't know how delayed so, that was. What? It's like half a second. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh, I always win. So we went to a very nice um, RV park, Premier Resorts. Premier RV. Like beautiful lawns and they had flowers and they had beautiful trees and they had a nice pool and the bathrooms were huge and amazing and the showers were great. And then ours, we had the place to pull our trailer and then next to it, a place to put the truck. In front of that. Yeah, and then, and then we had like all this grassy area for the kids. We didn't have anybody on one side of us. The person next to us was, was empty, so there wasn't any, well, there wasn't a person. The space next to us was empty. But then there was a rock by our picnic table, so it was like these built-up rocks, and there was water trickling out of it. I told Charlie I wanted a, wa a rock that had water coming out of it, and he told me that I need to talk to God. And I said, God would tell me that you're the husband, and go get your drill bit and drill a hole in my rock and give me a trickling rock. <laughs> So in the meantime, I was emptying the sewer out, uh, and you know, which is great when the valves don't work right. So you pull off the sewer cap, and gook, like, comes running out, gushing out, and you have to like slam the sewer hose up there as fast as you can so you get covered in. The what I got covered in with three children changing diapers so, for years. So yeah, it was gross. <laughs> But then we couldn't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Nobody wants to know that. So then we went to bed because we were tired. No, oh, yeah. We had and a... made our way back up the next morning to Mount Hood. Well, we're in Mount Hood National Forest. We are at Springs Drive RV Camp, and basically we're camping in the forest. It's, it's pretty cold. sweet. We have big, I mean, huge spaces. We're not even close to anybody, really. Um, and it advertises that we only have electric, and we actually have water and sewer, uh, and, electric. sewer and electric. So and the animals can go free. Yeah, we got space to let the chicken <laughs> and dog go. But like I said, it's amazing here. We're excited. We saw Mount Hood on the way in. It's 
majestic. Lots of snow. Yeah, it's like this huge peak and there's like nothing even close to as high as it anywhere around it. It's still snow capped and all that. So we're gonna head out to um Tullium. Tullium. No, Trillium. Trillium. Lake we're gonna, Trillium. Yeah, we're gonna head out to Lake Trillium probably tonight. Maybe get some pictures of Mount Hood from the lake during sunset. What up? Mount Hood from Lake Kilimanjaro. No. What is it? Trillium? Lake Trillium. Mount Hood. Let's go! Don't ever listen to him. Scout, where are we going? What? Where are we going? What? Where are we going? Oh, we're going to Umbrella Falls. What up? So it's uh, August 14th and we're about two weeks behind finishing of our report on Oregon. We're actually uh, in Dickerson, no, Dickinson, North Dakota, um, which is two states away, three, three states away from Oregon, two, I don't know. It's not a big deal. We're, we don't, we're good. Yeah, we're good. So um, last time we mentioned anything, we were in Salem on our way to Cannon Beach the next day. So we went through Portland, Oregon which is a beautiful, beautiful city. Um, she says, Nancy, she says, I just want to um, And we blew another tire. On the highway, it's like 90 degrees. It was right before Beaverton or Beaver. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, on the highway, middle of rush hour. This time we didn't have a spare. So we had to call Good Sam and they sent some guy out, but took like uh, two and a half or it was like more like two hours so then we, again it's, it's fine it was like a i think it's a weekend anyway or a friday or something but yeah so but we didn't have a spare so we had to actually take the tire off unmount the old trashed one put a new tire on and remount the thing and the great thing about it was the great Oregon Department of Transportation showed up uh, about 15 minutes before the whole thing was done. <laughs> we had sat on the road for almost two and a half hours, three hours, and hadn't heard from anybody. And then when the guy's done, they show up and say, hey, is everything okay? So, that was fun. so we got back on the road. We were, we ended up um, at Rockaway Beach three hours later than we should have been. So we go into the RV park and she's She's like, well, there's no assigned spots, just go down and find. First of all, she comes running out of some other building. Not the registration building, but some other building. <laughs> so anyway, there was no, there was no assigned, see, those are the irritating, but there's no assigned parking um, for the thing. She's like, just go down. Um, she says there's some spaces open. If not, go across the street and go up to that part of the army park. So we wanted to go down because I wanted to be by the water. Because hello, I can't see, this is awesome. Anyway, so we go down there and then I'm like, I go down there. And if you've ever seen a very run-down trailer park, I'm not kidding. And I'm not trying to be rude because I guarantee everyone has just thought in your head what we saw. So you all have the same mindset of what a run-down trailer park looks like. Then I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to stay down here. And is this really where we have to be for the next two and a half days? And 
but there was absolutely no work stay. And then we had to try to back her out. Yeah, because I was like, even if there's no no spots down there, can I get back out? She's like, oh yeah, no problem. So we try to wheel around this only loop that's there. It was a problem. <laughs> and there was no way you could get around it. So I had to back this enormous fifth wheel. I become really good at doing this. Yeah. Stop and go. And then we yell at each other because I'm like, I can't see you. I go, I can't see you either. Anyway, so we don't move it outside. We go, but I have to see what you want me to look at. So you're like, go look at the other end. So I look at the other end, and well, he can't see me now, so now he's irritated. So we have to go off the top of this because every time we have to back in somewhere, he ends up angry at me, and I can't do that anymore. So anyway, we cross the street and we drive up. Well, they, Charlie and Scott ran up first just to see what it's like. Yeah, because like it's across the street and, and then up a hill. hill. <laughs> and like all you can see from the other side of the street is like a jungle. <laughs> And after our last experience, I'm thinking, no, I'm not going to the jungle. What experience was that? The experience down at the water. <laughs> Who knows what we would have been in. Okay, so anyway. So they check Tarzan it out. They check it out. As they... A wild snake flies by. Well, it was on the ground and he, he saw it. So I didn't even know if it was moving as he saw it. Oh yeah, it moved. <laughs> anyway. They go up and then on the, on the way back they hear some big crunch and I guess some guy ripped off the back of his um, yeah. RV. The entire back of his like motor home was like swaying in the breeze. Well, and his him. wife or whatever she was was running around like, no! And he comes out he's like, what happened? And it did. The whole thing just the back end tore off. Anyway, yeah. so it's sort of like, okay, you got to just spot up there. So we drive up and it was great because those were actually, that was the place where they took the pictures and put on the website. So there were nice spots, there was grass, there was nice bathrooms and two pools. And I'm like, Jesus. So I didn't, I'm glad we weren't down the water because that was just good. But anyway, so we did that. That was near, that's when we went to Rockaway Beach because we were going to go to Cannon Beach. So we went to Cannon Beach the next day. And it was very cool. I honestly didn't know that Cannon Beach was the home of the infamous Haystack Rock, which is AKA the Goonie Rock, for those of you who watch the Goonies. And so we went down there, we spent eight hours there, which was really cool. Took the it dog, was, took the bird. Took the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> took the chicken. Got wings, and it's bird. <laughs> the dog. It's a dog friendly beach, and it really was. There was dogs running all over the place. There was a lot of people, was it bad? It was very hazy, and then the hay started burning, the hay started burning off. The kids and Charlie did the windy boarding. And then we met a little kid, he was like five years old, his name was Dannon, um, or Landon. 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 Yogurt. Anyway, yogurt. <laughs> um, so he wipe stop, 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 stop. Any way. You're just rude. <laughs> anyway, and so um, the kids played with him for a couple hours. She sat on the beach for eight hours in the sand, which was cute. Like there was a chicken. So. We walked. Well, at least I did. Bella and I walked uh, to the main town uh, in Cannon Beach and picked up a, a local pizza, which is pretty good. It's 15 minutes away. Yeah, it's a 15 minute walk. So. That was cool, and then we went home and left the next day, right? Left the next day, went to Les Schwab, got yeah. all of the tires, so we're the tires on. We got tired of our tires popping, so we uh, actually got the one replaced that blew two times ago, so we could put the spare back underneath the trailer and have a real tire on, and then we actually purchased a new tire for the only one that hadn't popped yet. And then off we went to Washington. Oh, and we passed by somewhere that my grandmother's sister lived. Warrington, Oregon, which we couldn't stop and see her because we didn't know until it was gone, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, so Oregon was cool. I mean, I think- I liked Oregon. I think we all agree that we'll have to go back and actually experience it when there's not wildfires and, you know, persistent haze. <laughs> wild Blair, wild berries grow everywhere, like everywhere which is on the side of the road. People are on the side of the road picking berries. Like, where does that happen? Oregon. Oregon. So we'll have the to Man. She's trying to talk. So I took her away from eating, and now she's mad. She was mad the whole time, but she, now she's going to sleep. See? Did you hear her? She's totally irritated with me right now. So that was Oregon. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah, thank you. We're tired. We actually are on our way to Washington. But we're already past Washington. We're not. We're in North Dakota right now filming this, which is okay. Yeah. We're totally. It's it's okay. Okay. He, he thinks it has to be in this progression, but we're okay. Because well, it's, it's just, like a playlist. No, it's not a playlist. Gotta, no, there is a playlist. 
That's fine. We're just talking about our time. It doesn't matter where we talk about it. We're, we're okay. We actually, I told him, we've been busy enjoying our time. So it's okay that we didn't get on and document. We're okay. Okay. Washington's next. See ya. <laughs>